Hello guys. Welcome to Powerpack Wrestling. Today we are going to talk about WWE Monday Night Raw. Cody Rhodes is here to kick off Monday Night Raw. The American Nightmare cut a promo to talk about Jey Uso. He claims that someone needs to be drafted over to SmackDown in a disgruntled locker room. Rhodes adds that he will not sit idly as the Judgment Day take down Jey Uso and will not turn his back on him. He calls them the most toxic faction before Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and Dominic Mysterio interrupt him. Priest and Balor discuss the events of previous weeks and how Rhodes interfered in their business. Dominic Mysterio attempts to speak but is overpowered by the booze from the WWE Universe. Cody Rhodes responds to Priest about Judgment Day being a family and how Mysterio's family is fed up with him. The American Nightmare taunts Dominic Mysterio about Rhea Ripley returning to find them without titles. The trio are ready to attack Rhodes in a three-on-one assault, but Jey Uso shows up to even the odds. The Judgment Day teases an exit while Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens run out through the crowd to aid Rhodes and Jey Uso. JD McDonough walks out with chairs to even the odds as Balor and he runs into the ring, and a brawl ensues. Priest is initially hesitant but ends up alone in the ring with Rhodes, Jey Uso, Zayn, and Owens. Moving to the next match. Otis vs. Bronson Reed. Reed hits it off with a shoulder tackle, which Otis fights off. Both attempt to hit each other with a clothesline but remain standing. A second attempt knocks them both out of the ring. Otis slams Reed with a clothesline outside the ring. The second time Reed moves out resulting in Otis slamming himself shoulder first into the post. Back in the ring, Bronson Reed hits Otis with a Samoan drop. Otis and Reed are trying to knock each other out. Otis hits Reed with a caterpillar followed by a jump off the top rope but Reed moves out. He follows it up with a running swanton followed by a tsunami off the top rope followed by a pin for the win. Bronson Reed defeated Otis. Moving to the backstage segment. Becky Lynch meets Tegan Knox backstage. Tegan Knox approaches Adam Pierce for an NXT title match on Raw. They are interrupted by Natalia who claims she deserves a title shot. Adam Pierce then sets up a match between the two women and the winner will contend against Becky Lynch for the NXT Women's Championship. Moving to the next match. Tommaso Ciampa vs Ludwig Kaiser. The Imperium member sets his opponent in a side headlock as Gunther watches on from backstage. Ciampa counters and hits Kaiser with a series of punches and vicious chops. Tommaso Ciampa is overpowering Ludwig Kaiser on Raw. Kaiser counters and hits his opponent with punches and sets him up outside the apron. Ciampa is sent flying over the ropes onto the steep steps outside. Kaiser has the upper hand as he has Ciampa in the corner, over the ropes and hits him with a drop kick. He rolls back into the ring and hits Kaiser with a clothesline off the apron. Giovanni Vinci creates a distraction, but an injury leads to Kaiser getting him out of the ring to not lose the match. Ciampa pounces on him from behind and pins him for the win. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Ludwig Kaiser. Ciampa proceeds to call out Gunther, claiming that he wants to face him next as the ring general is irate backstage. Tommaso Ciampa has his eyes set on Gunther next. Moving to the next match. Tegan Knox vs Natalia. Tegan Knox is set to face Natalia with Becky Lynch ringside at commentary. Natalia sets Knox in a side headlock. She turns it around focusing on her arm as the two continue to counter. Natalia hits Knox with an elbow to the face as they continue to trash talk in the ring. Tegan Knox hits Natalia with a vicious clothesline. Tegan Knox hits Natalia with the shining wizard followed by a pin for the win. Tegan Knox defeated Natalia. Tegan Knox celebrates her victory. Moving to the backstage segment. Backstage, Damian Priest throws a tantrum and confronts JD McDonough. He yells at him telling him he does not care who his friends are referencing Balor and tells him to walk away. Moving to the next segment. Seth Rollins has arrived on Raw. The visionary addresses his quest in calling out Shinsuke Nakamura for a rematch and how the time for games is over. He claims if Nakamura does not accept his challenge for a rematch he will take it back, citing it to be the last chance. The King of Strong Style responds from backstage commenting that the champion has no patience. He challenges Rollins to a last man standing match to which the champion seems hesitant to respond. Rollins states he has been left with quite the decision given the condition of his back and how Shinsuke Nakamura sees it as a weakness. 
He adds that the only way his family would be ashamed of him is if he does not fight with all he's got. The world heavyweight champion has a heavy decision to make on Raw. The champion accepts the challenge for a last man standing match for the world heavyweight championship at Fastlane 2023. Moving to the backstage segment. Ricochet addresses his injury on Raw. Ricochet claims he has unfinished business with Shinsuke Nakamura and does not care about the outcome of his match against Rollins at Fastlane 2023. Moving to the next match. Dragon Lee vs. Dominic Mysterio for NXT North American Championship. Dragon Lee makes his Raw debut against Dominic Mysterio. The match kicks off with a shoulder tackle by Lee, followed by the head scissors as Dominic Mysterio is knocked out of the ring. Lee follows it up with a jump over the ropes. Dominic Mysterio counters and sets Dragon Lee in a leg lock submission move. Dominic Mysterio is climbing up on the top rope and sets up the frog splash but Dragon Lee has his knees up. Lee builds up momentum and hits the young Mysterio with high flying moves and hits. He follows it up with a running dropkick to the face. He attempts a pin but Mysterio kicks out. Dragon Lee hyped in his match against Dominic Mysterio on Raw. The champion goes for a 619 but Lee ducks and attempts another pin. The Judgment Day member gains control hitting his opponent with punches. Lee turns things around as he hits the young Mysterio with a Hurricane Rana off the apron. He hits him with a powerbomb followed by a pin but Dominic Mysterio kicks out. Dominic Mysterio gears up for a suplex off the top rope. Dominic Mysterio hits Lee with a reverse DDT, followed by a frog splash, followed by a pin to retain his NXT North American Championship. Dominic Mysterio retains title against Dragon Lee. Dominic Mysterio dedicated his match to Rhea Ripley on Raw. Moving to the backstage segment. Akira Tozawa always at the wrong place at the wrong time. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens talk about assisting Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso on Raw. The duo claim it has nothing to do with Jey Uso or the Judgment Day. Sami Zayn adds that it is all about two friends winning back the tag team titles and taking back what is theirs. Kevin Kevin Owens adds he is sick of talking and is ready for a fight. Moving to the next segment. Meanwhile, in the ring, Michael Cole questions Nia Jax's actions in recent weeks. She claims to be the baddest human in all of WWE. Jax is interrupted by Zoe Stark. She confronts the former women's champion and says that instead of attacking her from the back, do it face to face. A brawl breaks out as security is called out. Zoe Stark stands up to Nia Jax on Raw. Moving to the next match. Nia Jax vs Zoe Stark. The 29-year-old knocks Jax with a drop kick leaving her wobbly on her feet and follows it up with another one off the ropes. Jax takes advantage and flings her opponent around in the ring showcasing her strength. Nia Jax slams shoulder first into the ring post. Zoe Stark hits her opponent with missile drop kicks and attempts to lift her opponent on her shoulders. Jax manages to counter and hits her with a leg drop to the neck. Zoe Stark displays impressive strength on Raw. Nia Jax hits Zoe Stark with the Annihilator off the top rope followed by a pin for the win. Nia Jax defeated Zoe Stark. Moving to the backstage segment. Jey Uso is questioned why he refused to join the Judgment Day. He responds that he is done with groups and will no longer be associated with any more groups or factions. Finn Balor hypes Dominic Mysterio backstage, questions Damien Priest's whereabouts. Moving to The Miz TV. Drew McIntyre is the special guest on The Miz TV. The Miz questions why he abandoned Jey Uso for a beatdown by the Judgment Day. He first responds that he is nothing like the A-lister who reacts by saying they have a lot of similarities in their careers. The Miz calls Drew McIntyre the Batman of WWE and Cody Rhodes the Superman of WWE. They are interrupted by the New Day, who addresses the Scottish warrior, saying that he is not a coward and there have been a lot of changes happening. Drew McIntyre talks about how Roman Reigns and the Bloodline took away multiple opportunities from them. Every time The Miz tries to respond, the former WWE champion cuts him off. The New Day claims Jey Uso is looking to turn over a new leaf. Drew McIntyre is in no mood for the New Day's debate about Jey Uso trying to make amends. Moving to the backstage segment. Alpha Academy try to cheer up Otis backstage. Ludwig Kaiser interrupts them and woos Max and Dupree, saying that Otis' loss was an embarrassment. Chad Gable tells him to send Gunther a message that he still has the ring general on his radar. Moving to the next match. Kofi Kingston vs Drew McIntyre. 
Kingston hits McIntyre with chops as soon as the bell rings. The Scottish warrior returns the favor with vicious chops as Kingston struggles to get back on his feet. Drew McIntyre sets Kofi Kingston for a vicious body slam. Xavier Woods blows a trumpet ringside to distract McIntyre as Kofi Kingston jumps on him off the apron. He continues to hit the Scottish warrior with headbutts and punches, throwing him back into the ring. He follows it up by a pin, but his opponent kicks out. Drew McIntyre has the upper hand as he flings his opponent into the turnbuckle. The New Day member turns things around with a kick to the face. The Scottish warrior hits Kingston with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex across the ring. He gets ready for the DDT, but Kofi Kingston counters into a roll-up but McIntyre kicks out. Drew McIntyre might be in trouble. Drew McIntyre hits Kofi Kingston with a thunderous chop to the chest. He gears up for a clothesline, but Kingston counters, throwing him over the ropes. The Scottish warrior hits Kofi Kingston face first onto the apron with an Alabama slam and rolls him back into the ring. He hits him with the Claymore, but Kingston ducks, and hits him with the SOS but McIntyre still kicks out. Ivar attacks Xavier Woods ringside. Kofi Kingston attempts to help his tag team partner and Drew McIntyre takes advantage of the distraction. He hits Kingston with the Claymore followed by a pin for the win. Drew McIntyre defeated Kofi Kingston. Drew McIntyre makes his exit as Ivar launches a scathing attack on Kofi Kingston. Moving to the Baxky segment. Gunther is furious with Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. The ring general adds that Kaiser is responsible for Vinci and vice versa. The champion adds that he will face Tommaso Ciampa on his own without fellow Imperium members by his side. Moving to the main event. Damian Priest and Finn Balor vs Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. Damian Priest and Finn Balor are geared up to defend their titles against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. All members engage in a brawl as soon as the bell rings. Sami Zayn goes after Balor in the ring as Priest and Owens fight outside. Damian Priest has the advantage over Sami Zayn. He slams Zayn into the corner as Finn Balor is tagged in. He sets his opponent in a side headlock as Zayn struggles to get out of it. Sami Zayn gets control of the match. Kevin Owens is tagged in and lays a beatdown on Finn Balor. Priest attempts a cheap shot but gets tangled in the top rope. Balor takes advantage of the distraction and kicks Kevin Owens. Senor Money in the Bank gets back up on the apron and tags himself into the match. Damian Priest showcases dominance in his match against Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn is not holding back with his punches to the Judgment Day member in the Raw main event. Kevin Owens swings punches at Balur as he follows it up with a clothesline outside the ring. Kevin Owens then flings Priest onto the announcer's table and then hits Balur with a frog splash off the top rope and attempts a pin, but the champion kicks out. Kevin Owens is going to all extremes to regain the titles. Priest gets back and tackles Owens, but he dodges. He sets up the Swanton but Balor counters it and sets up the coup de grace. He attempts a pin, but Kevin Owens kicks out. Damian Priest is tagged in and sets up the South of Heaven, but Sami Zayn is tagged in. Dominic Mysterio creates a distraction as Priest tries to hit Zayn with the razor's edge, but Zayn turns it into the blue thunderbomb. He attempts a pin broken up by Finn Balor. Jey Uso runs out to take out Dominic Mysterio but JD McDonough helps him tackle Jey Uso. Cody Rhodes runs out, and a brawl breaks loose. Meanwhile, Priest takes out Zayn and pins him for the win. Damian Priest and Finn Balor defeated Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. As the Judgment Day celebrate their win, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso run out and a brawl ensues. Thanks for watching the recap of WWE Raw. We'll be back with new video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the latest wrestling content.